my name is Spencer Knickerbocker and I'm a class of 2019. And my wish for the class of 2020 is that you never forget this unforgettable semester, final semester here on the Hill. Um, and you keep being weird and walking around barefoot and having fun dance parties. Greetings seniors, I'm um, Becky Cattarelli, class of 2004. And my wish for you is that uh, whatever you do, wherever you go in life and whatever adventures you have, there will always be a cookie drawer. Um, I'm proud of you all. <laughs> and I'm so pleased that our final graduating class is so um, strong and creative and resilient. Congratulations. <laughs> my name's Kara Hamilton. I'm class of 2014. I use she, her pronouns. And um, I used to work in the Office of Admissions where I met many of you. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations. I've known many of you for four years and have watched you work through this insane process. And I wish I was there for your orals. I wish I was there for graduation. Um, this sucks, but I'm so proud of all of you. And um, I hope to stay in contact with some of you um, if you want to. And I wish you the best of luck in this new year and in the rest of your lives. My name is Janelle Spring Kessner. I graduated in 2019 and I wanted to wish the class of 2020 a huge congratulations. You worked really hard to get to this point. I hope you all can cherish the memories you have at Marlboro on the Hill as I do every day. And I wish you all luck, happiness, and safety going forward. Javid Chaudhry, class of 65. And um, delighted to speak to everyone here. The last commencement. It's been half a century of being associated with Marlboro. Um, my wish for all of you graduating is that you be conscious of the fact that the 21st century belongs to you. Just think carefully this is 2020. There are 80 years ahead of you to change the world. Hi, this is Nick Katrick, and I'm an alum of 2007. And I hope the class of 2020 takes away from Marlboro uh, a sense of adventure and the ability to get out and explore this beautiful world. Have so much fun out there and love to all of you. I think that it's really important to recognize that even if everyone can't celebrate together right now, that it's a huge accomplishment. Plan is insane and they should be really, really proud of themselves and know that they can kind of handle anything that's coming at them now. If they handled four years at Marlboro or however long at Marlboro, it, they're going to do great. <laughs> it sucks that y'all can't have graduation this year but you know what I I just love everyone so much <laughs> and they're all gonna do so great <laughs> Ian Hitchcock and I graduated from Marlboro College in 2016 and I just wanted to say to all of you out there graduating in 2020 I know this has been a very difficult time um, between having to say goodbye to the college without getting the chance to say goodbye in person. Um, I, I can only imagine how difficult that must be. And I know that it's been a much more trying and much more challenging end to your college career than I think you could have imagined. Um, but you've gotten, you've gotten through it. And I wanna say, congratulations. I wish that there were more of us who could celebrate not only your successes in, in getting through plan, in mailing, and spending time at the school, um, but it, from graduating at a time when there were a lot of other hurdles thrown your way that you couldn't have expected. Um, I know that the relationship with alumni hasn't always felt as smooth and supportive as it should have at this moment, but I want you all to know that there are alumni out there who graduated recently and a long time ago that have been thinking a lot about you um, and know that you are part of a broader 
Marlboro College community that brings and can bring forth the, the values and care that you all have shared that I hope you felt during your time on the Hill and that I hope you'll continue to give out to the world. I'm Lisa Mitrofanova and I graduated in 2015. Uh, there's a couple things I want to say to you guys. Um, I, when thinking about this question of like, what are you going to take away? I really came back to connections and I think, I feel like we hear that all the time as Marlboro people, oh, the connections you're going to make. But I think it's true and it was true for me. And I really hope that there are really strong connections, whether it's with your peers, whether it's with your plan sponsor or other staff or with a place on campus, like um, a nook in the library or that special classroom in Dalrymple that has that interesting smell or, you know, the beaver ponds on the trails, um, whatever, whatever that place or person or people or sense is for you, that is something that I hope that you can keep through your entire life. And I think that those those things are a part of you. They say something about you. They're not just these external connections you have. And there's something that nobody can take away from you. They're yours to keep forever, regardless of what the future of the college or this land is. There's something, there's an experience that you've had, a connection that you've made that is yours. And it can evolve and grow. Hi, I'm Helen Hummel, class of 2009. And what I wish you guys, the class of 2020, can take away from your Marlboro experience is that unique sense of community, um, and I hope you will uncontrollably try to create it wherever you go. Good luck! Hi, my name is Hannah Ruth Brothers, and I'm from the class of 2014. What I wish for you, the class of 2020, is that you would feel proud of all of your accomplishments, finishing plan this year, I'm sure has been really tough. It's tough already, but with everything going on in the world, um, I think you should feel really proud of what you've done. And um, secondly, I hope that you um, stay in touch with your friends that you have at Marlboro. And um, I really think those are um, connections that will last a lifetime if you really put uh, intention into them. And um, I wish that you would Keep those connections strong and uh, I hope that you won't feel ashamed about moving back in with your families if that is something that is available to you. That can be a really smart decision um, in this current situation and in any situation really. Um, and finally, I wish to share a small excerpt from an article by Rebecca Solnit. Um, she says, it is too soon to know what will emerge from this emergency, but not too soon to start looking for chances to help decide it. So I hope that you will look for chances to help make the change that is necessary at this time in this pandemic that we find ourselves in. Randy Nags, class of 94. I treasure the memory of each of you guys arriving on campus as bridge participants. Your joy, questions, and those expectant first steps into your Marlboro experience. And I can still see the glow of confidence and purpose some of you had returning a transformative few days later. I find myself hungry for the energy I could feel as you tried out climbing, paddling, or broom ball, or put on snowshoes, or fighting dead trees jersey for the first time. I can, I will, is what I heard. And now, toting Marlboro diplomas and academic conferences tempered by the plan and orals, you're going to venture out into the world. Those questions and expectant steps may have returned. I hope each and every one of you continue to seek that joy that comes with new experiences, the passions you found in your studies, and the confidence you've earned through the long hours of challenging work. Believe in it. You can. You will. Hi, my name is Logan Davis. I graduated from Marlboro uh, in 2017, and my hope for what the class of 2020 takes off the hill is um, the space Marlboro can be and has been at its best, um, a place where failure, missteps, or dead ends aren't, you know, uh, kicked under rugs or looked at as the, you know, end of an arc, but uh, a 
part of a step in a conversation a process that one day at some time will um, produce something that can be shared with everyone openly and happily and that the world will be richer for it. I hope the class of 2020 finds that space, recognizes that space and brings it to wherever they find themselves next. Hello, Marlboro class. This is Clayton Clemenson, uh, class of 2019. And I just wanted to wish you healing, clarity, and purpose in 2020. And my heart goes out to you all. Lots of love. Hi, this is Mark Rossler, and I'm a graduate of uh, Marlboro College, 1990. Um, and I hope you guys, graduates of 2020, the thing that you bring to the world is a knowledge that you've had a Cracker Jack education. Uh, far better than, than really most people in the world have had. And I, I mean that knowing what other educations have been like. Uh, and uh, the core skill that you've uh, developed, no matter who you are there at Marlboro, is you are great writers and um, great communicators. And uh, this is something that is sorely lacking in the world. And you will find this out very soon, I'm sure that uh, people don't know how to write and they don't know how to clearly communicate. And uh, uh, your fe fellow alumni have been out there struggling with this for a long time and we're doing our best and we need you to help and uh, looking forward to meeting you out there. My name is Phoebe Okunian. I graduated class of 2018. Congratulations on graduating you guys. I know you've all worked really hard the last four years really um, and, you know, Marlboro um, teaches you to create your own path and just keep being amazing creators of your lives, of your futures, um, of artwork. Just keep creating, guys. Hi, Sean Cole, class of 1993, from the final commencement speaker of Marlboro College to the final class of Marlboro College as we know it. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be the final commencement speaker. You didn't know you were going to be the final class. What I think you're gonna take away from this is that is a privilege and that you are still better prepared than the majority of other college graduates in the country, uh, given how hard the work that you did at the school was and that you did it during a global pandemic. So congratulations, uh, you're good, you're good. Everything from now on is gonna be pretty manageable. So congratulations and I'm sorry. I'm Tristan Rawl from the class of 2019, I think. Um, but uh, my wish for you, class of 2020, is for you to graduate with a feeling of accomplishment because we work so hard at Marlboro and the plan is a huge thing. And having done that, I, I hope you feel really good about yourself. And I hope that feeling stays with you for, uh, for a long time. That's my wish. Hi, I'm Sophie Cabot Black and I graduated in 1980. And I just wanted to say what I think you all are walking away from, but also into, is the particular kind of courage that you've already shown and that we need ever more from citizens like you. So I think bravery is the word I would hold on to hard for the rest of your journey, because you were already brave when you decided to attend Marlboro and over other choices that you had, you, you went and you stayed and you got braver as you stayed and you, in, and you grew and you fought and you went through first the enormous upheaval and uncertainty of your institution that you'd grown to trust and love over your years there and put your heart and soul into. And then of course this even more enormous upheaval of the global pandemic. So in leaving the campus, the phase of your life, the good works that you've done, I think it's time to be even more brave and take what you know, not just the knowledge, but the self-reliance and resilience to the streets, to the rooftops, to the government, which is of course ours, your government. More than any other citizen your age, you've lived through what good government looks like on Marlboro's campus with town hall, et cetera, and the way that you were able to speak up. Now we need you. We need you to do what you can do. And if you're not comfortable with heading to the streets or the rooftops or in communities, then you can take it to the woods. 
You can make trails, make ways old and new that will include all of us. And um, I would just say the one word that I'm so happy that you are walking out of there with is courage. Hi, class of 2020. This is Shirsten Edelglass, class of 1995. And I hope that you take with you from your years at Marlboro a strong sense of the value of community, the value of having a sense of belonging, feeling appreciated and known, the value of working together toward a common goal, and also that sense of love for a shared place, whether it's a little green knob in Vermont hills or the shoreline of a special lake or a green space in an urban landscape. So remember, whatever your dreams are, you can do it together. You can build community wherever you go. And we will be rooting for you, this growing alumni body. Enjoy your next chapter. I'm Riley Monken, class of 2016. And I'm Cassandra Anderson, also class of 2016. For you guys, carry on a love of learning. Marlboro brings together so many people who have this passion for education, learning, and taking it to the furthest point it can. And learning is a lifelong, so being able to carry on that love and passion for your plan of concentration, your field of study, beyond Marlboro into the greater world and community is an amazing, amazing thing. My wish um, for you guys is, um... Uh, very similar along the lines of, of you know, holding to your, your, your sense of study. Um, my particular wish is for um, uh, you to carry with you a sense of academic rigor. Um, that's something that's always helped me in my life, and it's been amazing to be able to uh, you know, hold yourself to a very high standard of, of study and research, and that's what I've loved. So. Hi, my name is Kristen Thompson and I graduated with the class of 2019. And I wish for the graduating class to have um, a lot of really strong, healthy relationships with reciprocal love to help them stay grounded going forward. And I wish for them to have lots of learning field experiences um, and just a sense of um, uh, fulfillment or meaning um, even through the challenging waves that life throws. Hi, my name is Chris Noth from the class, the ancient class of 1978. Um, and I'm here to um, say bon voyage to the class of 2020. Um, I know it's a bittersweet ending to probably an incredible experience. All of us who have been to Marlboro take a very precious memory uh, of uh, our time there um, on so many different levels. Um, the academic exploration that all of us did, whether it be in the sciences or um, the arts, um, was for me, and I'm sure for you, very profound and was a guiding light as I went out into the world. Um, the intellectual rigor that Marlboro demands in a setting that um, emphasizes a natural world that is uh, unparalleled. I always used to say there wasn't a day, no matter what the weather, that wasn't beautiful at Marlboro up on Potash Hill. So these are hard times and I'm sorry you don't have the kind of graduation you deserve, but you do have what Marlboro is all about, which is the intellectual and creative integrity to go forward in a world that needs you more now than ever. And the memories you have of Marlboro will be with you. They are with me the rest of your life. And the people that you share this experience with, I hope you stay in touch and continue to create together. The world needs you now more than ever. So Godspeed and keep up your courage. Thank you. I am Jack Clark and I graduated first time in 1995 and second time from the grad school uh, in 2014. And my wish for you all as you commence 
as the 2020 class, the final class is that you take the badassery that you gain from writing something that is so precious to you that you cared so deeply about and bring that to the world and your your lives for from now until until whenever that badassery is needed that boldness is needed the boldness to care so deeply the boldness to do something daring and the boldness to take very good care of yourselves while you're doing it. All my best to you, from me and from my cat, Chloe. Hi, right, class of 2020. This is Crystal Graybeal, class of 2017. I'm going to just have to say it's snowing right now. It is May and I'm wearing a knit cap. That's ridiculous, um, but totally normal. Um, I just wanted to say that more than any other class, I wanted to be there for your class um, to graduate. We were students together. Um, you were my first residence in Halfway Dorm. Some of you, um, some of you took the class I taught for plan. Um, we've traveled together. We've done so much together, and um, this is not the way it should be ending. Um, you deserved a lot better. If it feels like that, it's true. You do deserve a lot better in so many ways. Um, and I hope that you take with you all you've learned about what makes you feel valued and seen, and that you find those people in those places. Um, that you leave behind everything that makes you feel otherwise. Um, I also um, hope that you don't take Marlboro time with you because that's not real in most of the world, um, certainly most of the US. Um, and I hope that you trust that you know who you are and that you have time to figure that out. Um, I've seen some of you become incredibly confident, talented, creative, fiercely intelligent people. Um, and through all of this, and at the end through a pandemic. That's wild. You're amazing. Um, and I hope that you know you always have a cheerleader in me. If you need it, I'm here, and I am celebrating you from afar. You earned it. Congratulations. My name is Maya Segura, class of 1991. And what I wish for you, class of 2020, first of all, is a wish for myself as well, and that is that we all had more time on this hill that's been the home for many of us for many many years um and that i'd gotten to know more of you and and gotten to know you sooner um i want you to know that i'm incredibly proud to welcome you into the alumni community you've worked your asses off and it really shows um i also wish for you that you understand that Marlboro isn't just a physical space and that it's not just limited to Marlboroites. Um, you'll go through your life and you'll meet people, you'll find each other, you'll be a magnet, um, who are Marlboro people who have never heard of the place and never stepped on the hill. Cling to those people. They're going to be your best advocates. They're going to challenge you and um, they'll appreciate what you have to offer. And that's a lot. Good luck out there, guys. I'm Sophie Gorgiantz. Um, I graduated in 2016. Um, so you're graduating right now is really weird because like you came in the year after I graduated. So I kind of feel like you're alumni parent or something, if that makes sense. Anyway, right now I'm working really hard to print your diplomas on this paper. Nothing is working well, but I'm trying really hard and everything is gonna work out. Congratulations, I'm really proud of you. Yay, go out in the world. Hello, graduating class of 2020. I'm Brad Heck, class of 2004 and film and video professor. And I'm Willow Farrell, class of 2007. And the things that we wish that you all will take with you um, is community. I mean, the Marlboro community is amazing and unique, and each one of you, pretty much, that I came in contact with changed me. And so carry that with you, please. Yeah, when I think of my Marlboro experience, I immediately think of my two plan sponsors that I still have close friendships with today, um, and my friends, and the connections that I made at Marlboro that I will never lose, and I hope you never lose yours. Yeah. And I also hope that you allow yourselves to grieve for Marlboro, the loss 
that we're all experiencing, we can't move through loss unless we fully feel our grief. And sometimes I try to, you know, run away from the grief because it's painful. But I think it's important to allow ourselves to feel those things. And we were all hoping, I think, to get some closure at a graduation ceremony and the pandemic has taken that. So, you know, develop a ritual, do something, let, you know, allow yourselves to feel the loss of Marlboro. Like howling. Yeah. Let's howl. Congratulations, class of 2020. We love you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're recording. Hi, I'm Lisa. Um, Mitrofanova is my last name, and let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> Recording. Hey guys, uh, I'm Sophie Gorgians, as you know. I graduated in 2016, um, and I still don't know, after several days of thinking, what I'm going to say. <laughs> so let's see what comes out of my mouth. I just want to wish the class of 2020. I already forgot everything I was gonna say. Um, what did I say before? Dear, oh gosh. <laughs> I've seen really extraordinary people, um, people with incredibly deep resilience and compassion and also high standards for themselves and the world around them. And I've been, I love, I guess, I have to start over. <laughs> 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 Marlboro teaches you to create your own path and just keep creating your own damn it can I start over <laughs> recording hello class of 2020 I'm Lisa Mitrofanova and I was class of 2015 um hello class of oh, fuck <laughs> are we recording now you're gonna edit it. No. Okay. Shoot. Hi. Go. No, you go. No, you go. Action. So, yeah. what the question is, hey, eyes over here. Okay. The question is, what do we want Marlboro grads to take away mm -hmm. with them? And you you had the more coherent response, I think so. Well, we want well, you had a good response too when you were saying that you want them to take. Oh, no, no, you had, <laughs> you had the better response. And you do have sleep in your teeth. <laughs> I told you to check your teeth. I'll be right back. And yeah, what I what we wish <laughs> just allow yourself to feel all the feelings, all the feelings, all the feelings. <laughs>